great indian master shanti deva story shanti deva was an 8th century indian this monk and is among the most renowned and esteemed figure in the entire history of mayana buddhism shanti deva uh, compose buddhi chara avatara the buddhist of the way of guide to the buddhist of the way of life is classic treatise is the primary source of the most tibetan buddhist literature on the cultivation of altruism altruism and the spirit of awakening shanti deva like Uh, Buddha Shakyamuni was born into a royal family and was <coughs> destined for the throne but on the verge of his coronation Manjushri, a divine embodiment of wisdom and Thara, a divine embodiment of compassion, both appear him in dream <coughs> and comfort him to ascend to the throne. Thus he left his father's kingdom, retreated to the wilderness and devoted himself to meditation. During this time he achieved at once states of samadhi and various siddhis and from that time forward constantly beheld visions of Manjushri who guided him as his spiritual mentor. Afterward he served for a while as minister to a king whom he helped to rule in the accordance with the principles of Buddhism. But this aroused jealousy on the part of the other ministers, and Shantideva withdrew from the service of the king, making his way to the renowned monastery, University of Nalanta. He took his monastery ordination and devoted himself to the thorough study of the Buddhist sutras and tantras. It was that during this period that he composed two other class, classic works. As far as he fellow monks could see, all he did was eat, sleep, and difficult, seeking to humiliate him and thus expel him from the monastery. The other scholars compelled him to recite a sutra before the monastery community and the public. A task <coughs> they thought far existed his abilities after some hesitation, Shantideva agreed to the request and asked him, Shall I recite an existing text or an original composition? Recite something new, they told him, and in response he began chanting the <coughs> Buddhi Chita Avatara of the Guide to the Buddhist of the Way of Life. During this astonishing recital, when he came to the verse, when neither an entity nor a non entity remained before the mind, it is said that he 
rose up into the sky. Even after his body disappeared from the sight, his voice completed the recitation of this text. In the ninth, in the tenth, concluding chapter, Shandita offers prayers dedicating the merits of this work for the benefit of all beings. Here he returned to his initial theme of generosity and the spirit of awakening which pervade this entire treatise. History of Gelsav Ripuche or Gelsav Thama region is the disciple of Lama Tsongkhapas and he composed the commentary on Guide to the Buddhist of the Way of Life. Gelsav Thama region was born in Tibet. <coughs> either 1362 or 1364 in the place called Rinang in Nanso Sang. His father was host master for ruling family named Parpa. His mother was named Cho Shira. <coughs> At the age of 10 he met Ninging by Rinchen Gelsen, a lama named uh, Taptupa Shunu Sultan, and received novice well. They gave him the name Tharma Rinchen. He studied philosophy with lama named Kungapel and Pajana Paramita with Kapshiba Rinchen Dorji, Kapshiba Rinchen Dorji, a lama named Lotus Tampu, or Lotus Tampu taught him the Vinaya. He also studied with Renda Vashunir Lotus. Mother Mika Master of Mok Tradition and is Count Mam Renda was seven close disciples. Tharma Rinjin study at Sakya Monastery, the Kadam Monastery of uh, Sampu, and the Kagyu Monastery, Theta. Later converted to the Giluk tradition. He is said to have later engaged in the philosophical debate with the Sakya master, Rongtan Sheja Kuri and Kenjin Yakpa, emerging victorious. At the age of 25, he took ordination in Latu with Thakma Chuji Kunga. Rendawa Kangchen Kunga, Palden Lotu, and Lotu Tsumme, going to Uthang to study monastery, Uthang of the central Tibet. There, a Neltu Ratum, he encountered Nongkapa Lothang Tapa. The brilliant scholar monk from Amdo who was then establishing his teaching base in the Lhasa area. He became one of the Tsongkhapa main disciples <coughs> and is generally depicted sitting to the side of the master. Kelsa Tamarajan was 
इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन दबलिशमेंट ऑफ गंदनम जिले इन फोर्टीन ओ नाइन ही एसिस्ट इन ओडनिंग मंथ एंड इस्टेब्लिशिंग रिचुअल कैलेंडर following tonkopas death in 1419 at the age of 54 or 56 the marriagean ascended to the golden throne of ganden becoming the ganden tipa the ganden holder of the tradition it was at the time and then he acquire the title kelsa the region of namatokapa he occupied the ganden holder for 11 years occupying his time in exposition debate and composition in 1431 the year before he passed away he passed abbot from to the one of the lama tonkabat other disciple kedu kele person who thus became the third ganden tipa the ganden throne holder kelsa was great author composing works on madhmika and uh, goem samaja among other topics among his best known works are uh, his commentary on the guide to the buddhist other way of life he collected his collected works are in eight volumes jetsu rim poche passed away at the age of 67 or 69 in 1439 on the eighth day of fifth month of mel water mouse year on the potala hill in lhasa